Sarawak, have you ever been there? For your information, I have been there last year. What a beautiful Malaysia state on Borneo in the largest among 30 states. Before that, I would like to introduce myself first. My name is Zuleika Humera Binti Maskeri and I'm Nayus Oi. I love reading so much. That's why I would like to share this fun learning book together with all of you. Did you know Sarawak is located in Norwest in the capital city is Kuching, Bulu Bulu National Park, Raja River, Bakundam and Bala River are the natural attractions it is nice to be busy. Why I'm telling you this? Because today I'm going to share with you the story of Uma. Look at the cover of this book. It's eye sketchy for everyone, including me, with the girl wearing a traditional Sarawak clothes, surrounded by the fish and prawn. I feel like a magnet when the first time I saw this book and my mom flew into my memories in Sarawak. I grabbed this book and started reading. The writer for the book is Isabella Jali, and the illustrator was by Muhammad Hiza Musa. The story is about Umang, a young girl that lived with her mother in a long house in Batang Ali. One day, her mother went out to look for bamboo shoot. Do you know what is bamboo shoot? It's a traditional food used as vegetable in numerous Asian dishes. Her mother asked her to stay at home, but Umang doesn't listen to her mother. So Uma went out and started to search for her mother's food state. Soon, Uma crossed a small bamboo bridge. The fish and prawn in the river give signs as they are trying to warm Uma from the cross the old and slippery river. Uma ignored all the signs when it came to the end of the bridge. She fell into the river. Uma started to scream and struggled to save herself from the fast flowing river. Luckily, Uma's mother heard the scream and helped Uma from drowning. Uma now was safe. Her mother grateful that she able to save Uma. Uma asked her mother for forgiveness and promised always listen to her mother. The lesson from the story number one is we must listen to our parents' advice because they know the right and good decision for us. Number two, as we share and live with Nature surrounds us. I believe sometimes we need to believe in signs given by the nature. I hope you will also enjoy when reading this book, as I now keep telling myself to always listen to my mother. I love my mother so much. That's all from me. Thank you.